on this edition of Check 6 Aviation. Houston, we have a problem. Welcome back to another edition of Check 6 Aviation. I've got some neighbors here from across the street. This is Sammy and his significant other, Christina. Hi. And we're going to go ahead and manhandle this thing back into plumb. So <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're, we are going to have these guys push on this while to get this bubble in the center. And I'm going to adjust the bracing over there until it is back into back into plumb, and we'll see what we can do. But push hard. Uh, yep, yeah, just about there. Okay, and then we're going to push, and we're going to make sure that it's the same way on the other side. Which it is. We're back into. We're back in. We are back in action, and <laughs> let's get to it. Yeah. All right. So, in the course of waiting for me to get back home off the road and get things done here, we've had Mother Nature kind of create a couple of squawks that I have to fix. Number one, being that up there is kind of separated up till about there. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of glue, construction glue, and then this one over here is kind of coming the same thing, kind of doing the same thing. And then that one over there, she's always weird. All right, so as I was saying, this is what I'm working with, thanks to Mother Nature. I mean, I could go ahead and just nail it back into the holes, um, but, uh, yeah, I want to make sure that it stays that way. So we are going to take and I've got this cut on a 45 degree angle and we are going to kind of oh God, this is like so hard to so hard to do. I'm going to use my other hand, my strong one. Oh, poke a hole? Oh, that would <laughs> I have to poke a hole. That's that would explain why it's hard. Okay, this should go a lot easier now. Well, at least some. There we go. Yeah, buddy, there it goes. So you don't miss any antics going forward. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It does tell the YouTube algorithm that you like content like this. And by all means, hit that notification bell while you're at it. So that way you get notified whenever I upload new content. Can I get it in there? Get it all up in there. The vi this video was shot about the, over the summer of 2021. I'm not exactly sure which month it was. I think it might have been just before we left for Oshkosh. But let me tell you right now, it is just after Christmas. So there has been a lot of progress made between now and then that we just have not been able to get to editing up yet. There is a lot of content yet to come. so. Be sure you hit that notification bell because there is going to be so much that we're going to be releasing. Uh, also, if you want to see the, where we're at currently, here's the QR code for our Instagram feed because we I, I do post a lot on Instagram, probably a little bit more than here, but you'll at least be able to see where we're at. So head on over there and if you have not checked out our Patreon, page. Our Patreon campaign does help provide equipment and also 
you know, gives you specific special access to uh, certain features and you can get some of our merch uh, if you become a flight crew subscriber uh, flight crew flight crew level subscriber then my mouth might actually work correctly but uh, otherwise you'll be able to get our one of our exclusive t-shirts absolutely included in that level head on over there and check this out i'll put links to our to not only our patreon page in, down below but also to our other social media accounts. We are on Tumblr, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Oh my God, it, no, it, it's, it, it is, the opportunities are endless here to let the world know that general aviation is a safe mode of travel and it can be done cheaply, cheaper than, uh, than buying a, gen a, uh, a, a factory certified built aircraft um, because that's the world of experimental aviation right there. So stay tuned for more content coming up. All right, with that taken care of, it's time to put some plywood on these walls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put some adhesive on each of the studs up to about four foot and screw, it in, screw them in so that the, the uh, plywood folds really well against the studs. Yes, I do.
Well, this is just a case where I'll have to make do. I'll have to fill in. So, I, I know it's not probably not going to be level. So we'll just have to make it do with the best we can with what we got. Use what you got. That's right. If we can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it over. Yep. It's on the deck. It's on the deck, but it needs to be tapped over. Yeah. was right there the whole time. From above. Okay. No, no, no. But, like down further. Over, like put it underneath my chin, basically. Oh. No, under, straight. Like me. Oh. Like. Oh. Like, oh. Ow. Christina did finally get the camera angle right that I wanted 
but in the interest of time, we're not going to go ahead and show this video all you know show that the rest of the, in, in this video but what we are going to do that because this video has gone on into the is getting to the point where I really want to cut things off unless of course you like the longer videos up to 30 minutes maybe 40 minutes uh, or you just want to get this part of the build prep done and over with like I do because I want to get to, to building the Vans Aircraft RV-10 then leave a comment down below let me know if the if that's what you're looking for uh, how can I improve basically do you want uh, different angles do you did you like the the different shots the the different uh, the different views that I was able to cut and in, intersplice into this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know. I really appreciate you watching. And like I said, follow us on, a, on our other social media sites for updates on where we are right now. We'll cut this short at uh, just under 17 minutes. Appreciate you watching. And until, that, until next time, remember this time and always check your sex.